Well, good morning and welcome back to my channel. I'm Debbie from Debbie's World and this is my weighing update. So I believed that I'd had a good week on plan. I followed the guidance in the Slim for Life book. I followed a mix of route A and route B and I wrote everything down, counted all my sins, which I believe you've seen in my food diary. Uh, my food diaries that I've put up this week. So every day um, I had two Healthy Extra B choices and some days I had two Healthy Extra A choices but not every day. Um, and most days I had um, between 12 and 15 sins. So on high on the sin side. And I also um, ate quite a bit of fruit. Um, and I did exercise every day, which was walking or an exercise class or following the Leslie Sandstone video. So I went to group yesterday, which was Saturday, um, and I gained two and a half pounds. So I'm not really very happy with that. Um, so I now weigh 11 stone, nine pounds. And I've got a total loss of 14 stone at 12 and a half pounds. I'm still in target, which is good. The, the top end of my target is 11 stone 10. Um, so I am still in my target range, which I'm very happy with. But I am not going to be following the Slim for Life plan this week. Um, I'm going to go back to Extra Easy. Um, and the, the, there's a couple of reasons for that. Um, I know the book tells you to give it a few weeks to try and see where your body um, sits, um, but I've actually gained for three weeks in a row for varying reasons, not just not just by following the plan, but I've had a holiday um, and whatever else has happened. Uh, but yeah, I've gained six pounds or six and a half pounds in the last three weeks. Yeah, six and a half pounds. So um, I'm not too happy with that. Even though I'm still in target, um, we can't carry on like this. So um, I'm going to go back to Extra Easy. And the two reasons are I have SlimCon coming up and I need to be 100% focused. And I want to have a 15 stone loss by SlimCon. So I want to be able to say I've lost 15 stone something. Um, so I need to be back on it. Um, what, what, what are we on? The 3rd of August. So I've got about a month to get back into my 15 stone loss area. Uh, and back towards the bottom of target. Um, there we are. There's our little puppy. And the other reason is that Finally, uh, I am going back to Thursday evening weigh-ins. So we, me and Charlie are on the list um, for good citizen training, I think it's called. But when we went to the vet on Thursday, it was confirmed that it's going to be at least another month or two before we get on that training, which is on a Thursday at 7 o'clock. Um, so I've decided to, in the meantime, go back to Thursday evening weigh-ins. Um, so this week I'll be going from Saturday to Thursday. Um, so obviously it's a shorter week. And I don't want to risk having another gain by Thursday. I'd like to have a loss if at all possible. But obviously it is a short week. So I am fully, fully on it. On it with extra easy. I'm going to continue filling in my diary which I did yesterday. Um, yesterday I had pancake waffles, egg wrap, chicken chips and salad uh, and 11 and a half sins and we did a three mile walk yesterday. Um, so yeah I'm fully on it and I'm fully intending to be fully following the extra easy plan this week doing as much exercise as I can do. Um, maybe keeping the sins a little bit lower. Um, I'd like to cut down on the fruit, but I must admit that I do love snacking on my fruit and I won't be um, having my uh, extra healthy extras. Um, 
so I'll ha need something else to snack on if you if you like. So I'm I'm a bit disappointed with that, but I'm trying to look on the positive side. Um, the positive side is we're having lovely, lovely weather. I can, I've got everything out on show. I've got a short sleeve t-shirt on. I've got my shorts on, which you can't see. Let me put you down a little bit. I've got some shorts from Ban Marsh. These are a size 14, so they're slightly on the roomy side. Um, but it is nice to have a bit more room when it's, warm and it's just nice to be able to sort of relax and feel like you're casually dressed so yeah um that's one positive side um the other positive is it's andrew's first full weekend off for quite a while uh, that's why i was pretty quiet yesterday and this vlog will be pretty quick because we're spending as much time together as we can um and the, the final positive is that when me and Andrew, me and Andrew visited a department store in our local town and I was trying some dresses on because there's an event coming up called SlimCon um, and I was trying some dresses on and I picked up all size 12s dresses and every single one fitted nicely um, and I have got one or two dresses picked out, but that is a secret between me and Andrew. So the slim con dress will be revealed on the day, um, but I do have some comparison photos and I am looking pretty good if I do say so myself. So yeah, I have to keep thinking of those things. I want that dress to still fit in a month, so I have to keep on it and I have to... Um, you know, sort of stay on the positive side. I mean, yeah, I have to go back to Extra Easy. I've done Extra Easy for two years. Yes, I was enjoying the extra healthy extras. Yes, I was enjoying having a bit more flexibility, but my weight loss or maintaining my weight loss is more important. And at the end of the day, there's so much choice in this plan um, that we can still make the most of that food and food optimise and have a really good week on plan. So just a couple of things to show you, because we also went shopping in Sainsbury's um, yesterday after we tried the dresses on. And I finally got my hands on the little pops of Angel Delight. Now in Sainsbury's these are on offer. I believe it's only five pence reduction, but they are 45 pence each in Sainsbury's at the moment. So you get strawberry, chocolate or butterscotch. The strawberry and butterscotch are four sins each and the chocolate is four and a half. So I'm gonna try those. I didn't think I was that keen on Angel Delight when I was younger, but I do really, really want to try these. So I'll try those for four sins. There's a bit of a change from yogurt. And also I picked up these Bocca bars. Um, now there's a choco mellow flavour which is this one, there's a caramel and an apple and cinnamon and this choco mellow is four sins or one for your healthy extra B and the other two are four and a half sins or one for your healthy extra B and these are £2 at the moment from £2.50 in Sainsbury's so they're really worth a try and um, they're low sugar so they're not quite as sweet as the hi-fi bars but you do still get um, that chocolatey kick and they're a bit more chewy and I find that these, I've tried one last night, um, these are a lot more filling and satisfying than a hi-fi bar because they're more chewy, they're more filling um, and although you, do, although you do only get one for your healthy extra B or four sins or four and a half for the other flavours I really do think they're worth a try so if you haven't got quite a sweet a tooth then maybe try these and it says uh, Bocca cereal bars are unique they are low in fat saturated fat sugars and salts having four green lights for a healthier choice and you can see there with the traffic light system they are all green so yeah they are worth a try right that's it from me so yes again this week but still in target range still thinking of those positives 
Thank you for watching all my videos, all my food diaries. Thank you to the new subscribers. Welcome to this roller coaster. Stay tuned for more videos, more recipes coming up probably next weekend because I am having a bit of a break today and enjoying my time with Andrew. Uh, but I will be back during the week or next weekend with food diaries, recipes, uh, weighing updates, puppy diaries, anything and everything that I can think of. So thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time.